Step Brothers. Okay, guys, so tell us a little bit about the movie Step Brothers. Well, Step Brothers stars Will Ferrell and, and John, John C. Riley. We play a uh, man of a certain age, let's right. say late 30s, early 40s. Uh, Will lives alone with his mother. I live alone with my father. And Still. Yeah, with our single parents. Yes. Uh, then our parents get married. And we are, are forced, forced to, become to become stepbrothers. Stepbrothers who don't see eye to eye at first, but then grow to be great friends. Aww. So Lovely it's a touching story. tale. Yeah. It is a touching tale. I saw it. I particularly loved, you know, some of the tussles on the lawn and, you know, good brotherly fun. Sure, sure. <laughs> and action. <sighs> approaches. Oh no, you don't. So, the movie follows the story of two 40-year-old guys who still act like they're in their early teens. So I asked the guys when they actually bit the bullet and left home. Maybe, just maybe, Will Ferrell is extracting the Michael. When did you guys actually move out of home yourselves? I was 18. I have five brothers and sisters, so I was really ready. As soon as I could find a yeah. place of my own, I wanted to get out. I had a little different path. I, uh, I went to college, and then I moved back home till I was about 25. And then I married my, I met my first wife, and... First wife? Yeah, it didn't go well. I, thought, I didn't know you were married more than oh, once. Oh, yeah, th I'm on my third oh. marriage. And, uh, and was gone for two years, and then I moved back again. 28, lived at home till I was 33, and then I left for six months, then I moved back again, and then I lived there for, s for six years till I was 39, and I just moved out recently. Oh, that's so I've had three different stints. <laughs> Sorry. You were doing well in the movies, though. I mean, you could yeah, have well, afforded your still, own place. Yeah, well, I could have, but I'm, I'm just very frugal. Yeah. That's right. sensible. In yes. this climate, there's an economic downturn. It's there a really recession. is. Yeah. It's very sensible. Yeah. <laughs> this is a bad time. What the hell's going on? Ma, Mr. Dobak. Okay, Dale and Please I were just... Stop calling me Mr. Dobak. Sorry. Okay, Mom, Dobak, we think it would be very prudent. Can we turn our beds into bunk beds? Yes. Why are you guys so sweaty? All right, we've already figured out how to do this. The beds match up perfectly. And here's the thing, it'll give us so much extra space in our room to do activities. Please say yes. You don't need permission from us to build bunk beds. You're adults. You can do what you want. We can? No? Yes. Yes, Sweet. you can make bunk beds. I knew it. Okay, you guys are not gonna regret this. We're gonna get so much more activities done. This is the funnest night ever. <laughs> this is so scary. How do you come up with the ideas for your movies? We usually, Will and I will get together and try and think of the funnest kind of scenario that we can, you know, that basically you don't get tired of after five minutes. Uh, and, and a lot of it's about kind of the voice of the main character. Uh, in the case of Ron Burgundy, we saw an anchorman actually talking about sexism in the newsroom and right away his voice made us laugh. Uh, in the case of Talladega Nights, it was just because of NASCAR was so big in our country and we we're kind of fascinated by the whole phenomenon of it. Uh, with Step Brothers, we knew we wanted to work with John C. Riley, and we wanted something very simple. We had done car crashes in Talladega, and we wanted to kind of tone it down a notch uh, and have it be more about characters. Uh, and this idea came to us, and it seemed like a perfect fit. Okay, so you've had a cameo in a few of your movies. Um, you were in Ron Berg, Indiana, and Talladega Nights. That's correct, yes. yeah. Why not this one? You know, I actually cut myself out of the movie. I was one of the uh, job interviewers. I had a beat in there, and it was pretty funny, but in that point in the movie, it was we had to kind of buzz through that job interview section, so the longer it got, kind of the tougher it was. Yeah. So I was in it for quite a while. I'm actually in the extended DVD. Oh, so, so we get the extended DVD to see it. <laughs> exactly, and, uh, and they put me in several of the TV commercials, so I got a little bit of shine off of it. But, uh, you know, you have to be willing to cut yourself when you're a director. You have to take the fall. Yeah. Do you like being in front of the camera? It's fun, yeah. What, what I like about it is it reminds me that acting is incredibly hard. 
And you know, I think what happens is you can sit behind the camera the whole time and sort of give your notes and act like it's all automatic. But I think it's good for any director to go in front of the camera and realize, oh my God, this is really difficult. Yeah. Um, but it's like anything, the more you do it, the more, you know, initially it's like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm doing this. But by the end, we ended up having a blast, so. How are you doing over there? Really good. Okay. Did your son know anything about carpentry? No, not a, not a, did I hear a drill? Dale! Power tools. Dale, no power tools! Oh, what? No power tools! That is not your toothbrush. Oh, okay. Well, I'm all done anyway. We did it. We did it. It looked amazing. Look at that. That looks like what you would buy from a store. It should have been. Look a at all this floor all space. So you much. Your robots in here. So many activities. Do step class. It's making my head spin. How many activities we can do? Play army man. Yeah. Huh. This is how we do it. Da, 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 da. Hey, I never asked you. Yeah. Do you like guacamole? <laughs> ah! Run, run! Oh, God! Run! 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 In the movie, Dale and Brennan have some very interesting interview techniques, so I asked director Adam McKay one of their interview questions. Marry, kiss, or kill, right? Okay, yes, Adam. So, yes. marry, kiss, or kill Will Ferrell, John C. Riley, and Richard Jenkins. I'm gonna marry uh, Richard Jenkins. He's a solid guy, he's emotionally accessible. I'm gonna uh, kiss uh, John C. Riley. He's a very lovable, uh, curly-headed gent. Uh, and I'm going to uh, murder uh, Will with a flare gun. Ooh, yeah, that's yeah. an interesting death. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the lads are from Irish heritage. John C. Riley's dad is Irish and Will's family have Irish roots. So, do they know any Irish at all? Okay, so would you mind if I played a little game with you? Oh, okay. You're both from Depends Irish kind of, heritage. If it's like right. Russian roulette or something, it's called, maybe not. What's my line, right? Okay. So you're both from Irish heritage. I don't know if you know any Irish at all. But I have, I saw the movie, so I picked up some lines from the movie and I've translated them into Irish. Okay. okay. And I want to see if you know what I'm talking about. Ah. I'm very, really, I'm really chuffed to see that Irish mm -hmm. language is making such a comeback. Yeah. Because it was yeah. nearly stamped out, wasn't it? Was. it? No, well, it's not going now to Now there's be. like okay. television it's shows. A, it's a revival. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's an Irish revival. Okay, so, so this will be good. Tommy Egdal Susan Styra, Kunma Margarly, Akur, Erda Drummy. I think I can guess. Okay. Okay. I think it's one of Will's lines. I'm going to put my nutsack on your drum set. Go, John C. Riley. Well go. done. <laughs> I, sp I, sp I speak Gaelic. I'm sorry. I should have. I should have said, said that. Okay. So the other one I have is Ta the Go Kusul Le Fergie Agus Iesa. Ah, there's a giveaway yeah, in there. A giveaway. Well, you yeah. know what it is. This is John's line. Your voice is like a cross between Jesus and Fergie. Yes. Beautiful. It is so, beautiful. My, the last one is... It's a beautiful is, statement, <laughs> whether it's in Gaelic or not. And I'll give, yeah. you, I'll give, you, I'll give you a, a hint. It's to do with the prestige world world. So your last one is... Mona will to able to cana si shis. There's no giveaway English sounding words no, in there. No, there isn't. So I'll give it... Mona will to able to cana si shis. You have the... I'm the songbird of my generation? Um, what's that in the movie? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. We're Prestige Worldwide. Prestige Worldwide. Do you have a slogan? Do we have a slogan? Oh, we're the... Boats and hoes? No. We're the... No. We're the if you can't... If you... If you can't... Sing if it. If you can't sing, sing... How... Sit. Sit down. Sit down. Beautiful. That was our motto for oh. our karaoke. <laughs> it was! Oh, you're right. I played close attention to this sing, movie, down. guys. Okay, so the last We thing. improvised a lot, so many <laughs> of the things we said we've already forgotten, and we're not even sure what's in the movie at this point. A very impressive two out of three. Now, coming up after the break, Will and John give us an L song. Irish Americans are idiots. Why did you come to our country? 